Yep. Yep. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, one of the things I put on my notes is that they're inquisitive, and here we go. Hey all, Tom Moran here from Tom's Big Spiders. Well, as you can see by the little mini intro there, this one didn't go quite as planned. Although, truth be told, I did tell Billy before we started shooting this that this spider tended to like to wander a bit, and if it should happen, just kind of let it go. And honestly, I'm kind of glad we caught footage of it because we're featuring here the Homeoma species blue or blue Peru, which I've said before makes a good little beginner species, and I know a lot of folks have been picking them up. I've also said they remind me of the hobby favorite, the H. chilensis, because they are curious, inquisitive little spiders. When the H. chilensis, every time I open up its enclosure, she tends to go on a little walkabout. I'm not going to lie, she's probably ended up in my hands a few times. And this spider kind of is the same thing. So in this one, she gets out, we get some good looks at her, and hopefully people can see what an adorable little spider this one is. So enough of me talking. Let's take a look at the video, I'll come back afterwards, talk a little bit more about it. And uh, let's check out Homeoma species blue Peru. Here we got my homeoma species blue Peru. A lot of confusion around these guys because it was blue Peru too, uh, small blue, large blue Peru. Uh, it, it's just been a disaster. There's also been some question about whether or not some Thrixopelma species were sold as the homeoma species blue. The difference, uh, is they're literally just like the Uetho species. Right, so this girl's got her own, she's got her own little, they remind me so much of H. Chalensis, it's not even funny. There you go, the spider just rehoused herself, <laughs> done. So Billy wants to take some images of her. These guys, I was going to say the temperament for these guys, I haven't gotten to that part yet. She completely did her own little thing there. Um, anyway, as I was saying, before she just decided to go on a walkabout on her own, I'm going to close this up for a minute. Eh. Yeah, we'll close it up. A lot of confusion around these. There are also thought to be some Thrixopelma species Lagunus being sold as Homeoma, Homeoma species Blue Peru. It was another species, I believe, Cayenneellum. It might have been Thrixopelma Cayenneellum, also another species that might have been sold them. So it's a bit of a disaster. This one does appear to have the little red on the back like the Homeoma species do on the abdomen. There's that little red patch. You can see my phantom finger. Um, they did grow more slowly. The Thrixopelma species are supposedly much faster growers and get much larger overall. So I do believe this is the correctly labeled homeoma one, but who knows? So as a little bit of history on this one, I picked it up originally from Tanya Fearnot Tarantulas and had it in a little dram vial. We then moved it from the dram vial into a 16 ounce deli cup. I'll open this up. Worst case scenario, she's going to go on a little walk about. Into a 16 ounce, actually, a 16 ounce cylindrical container. 16 ounce deli cup would work just as well. And when she outgrew that one, we put her in this 101 ounce. How's that for oddly specific? Systema enclosure over here. I like those for the juveniles. No, 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 no. Come on. No, no, no. She's so cute. No. And fresh. No joke. They remind me so much of the Chilensis. There you go. So anybody that's eyeing like a little beginner species, this speaks it and. Truth be told, if I wasn't on camera, I probably would have stuck my hand out there for her. It's just, I don't want it. I don't handle, as a general rule of thumb, I don't do a lot of handling, but every once in a while, one of them will climb out in my hand and I'll put it there. So I'll be honest, you know, I think there's a lot of people out there that think I'm dead set against handling. It's not that at all. It's just, I try not to do it because I work with a lot of more venomous old world species and you kind of practice the same habits with them all, but those little homeomas are so cute. So anyway, now we are putting her into this new enclosure, which I believe we already, with all the excitement, did we already describe what was in here? Just in case, this is an M Design shoe box. It's about seven by seven by 12 inches. The substrate is a mixture of cocoa fiber and peat moss. We have some sphagnum. We have a little cork bark hide. We have some leaf litter. We have a spider who's trying to escape once again. <laughs> this is, honestly, this is gonna be awesome because if you ever try, a lot of times I do these, I'm trying to get people interested in them and I don't think anything's gonna get folks more interested than this. And she's gorgeous. No, 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 this was not the game plan. Yeah. 
you know better. There she is. Get in there. Adorable. Just so cute. Like seriously, this is the one that was the last time I was out. Okay, but I'm telling the truth. This one might have been on my hand already a couple months ago. But <laughs> I can't help it. They just took my hand out, she went on my hand and just sat there. So Folks looking for a beginner species, obviously, if you've seen this one, I have two of these, two females, and I actually have three, two females and a male. The male is even fairly laid back overall. Unfortunately, I don't think the male will be able to breed with these guys. It's sibling. He's about the same size. I usually like to use smaller males, but uh, maybe we'll send him off to breed somewhere else. But gorgeous spiders. They ate well as babies. I gave them pre-killed prey, but usually, once they hit around... An inch or so, they were hunting small roaches, small crickets, no problem at all. This one now I feed once every two weeks or so, a cricket. Kind of dainty eaters as they got older. Kind of remind me of, the again, the Homeoma chilensis, where sometimes they're not the most aggressive eaters in the world, especially once they put on some size, but they will eat. Yeah, that's what I thought. You don't want any part of that. This is, she's completely thrown me off my game here because she's just kind of going on a huge walkabout. We're getting good shots of... Uh... Again. So in a moment, we're going to have to get her in. Yeah, that's what I thought. Nope, hand, not having any of that. No, no, no. What is she doing? No, we're not going up there. I had one the. No, 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 no. I hate when they do that. All right, we're going to close this one up so I can finish talking. Ah, her leg? No, I don't have okay. her leg. Have, no, she's trying to get out now. Yep. yep. <laughs> no. Well, one of the things I put on my notes is that they're inquisitive. And here we go. So in a minute, we're going to kaiba. We're going to stop this because I'm going to have to wrangle her back in. She does not like the feel of my hand. Oh, there she goes. All right, so she's just walking all around the place here. I probably could have done a full husbandry video and then some with it, but uh, we're going to cut it here so we can get her back in because I'm going to need both hands. But there we go, Homeoma species, Blue Peru, awesome little spider who's now going to be running around the actual catch basin. This is why you use these. I don't know if you can see her back there. I can see her. Awesome little spider, very laid back, and definitely ones people should be checking out if they want something with blue and a beginner species because a lot of times we see the blue spiders we desperately want a blue one but a lot of the blue ones are either old world species or more high strung as you can see for this one and unfortunately the blue is faded a little bit i should mention this her blue is faded a little bit right after a molt it is a fairly vibrant blue i mean this isn't one of the ones you have to jack up the color or contrast on or the the saturation it's a fairly blue spider overall so Homeoma species, Blue Peru, awesome little spider. Glad we got to watch her walk all around. Now we're going to try to get her back into her new home. All right, so normally I don't like to put my hands anywhere near spiders during rehousings. It is not because I'm afraid of them. I know somebody will come on eventually. It happens every single time. It says stop being a baby or another word that begins with a P and just pick them up. It has nothing to do with that. I work with a lot of spiders. I have kept over 130 species now and close to half of them have been old world tarantulas that can pack quite a bite and when they feel cornered instead of kicking hairs like new world tarantulas, they will use those fangs and that venom to deter any type of attack on them. So that means putting my hand out there when a spider goes to escape with a new world, probably not a very big deal. With an old world, it could result in a painful bite and we don't want to do that. So I always try to practice good technique that said there are certain spiders out there i'm not going to lie that are absolutely adorable that have fairly good temperaments i know they have good temperaments my h is being one of them and this one being another that when they come out and explore and i put my hand out there it's not such a big deal that said it's always important to know that temperament can vary from spider to spider and from specimen to specimen and even from molt to molt so if this spider is really tame now and seemingly uh, doesn't mind the handling this one could molt the next time i put my hand out there it could result in a bite so it's always something to keep in mind i just literally received an email from somebody that kept a t albopelosis which is considered to be one of the most calm and docile spiders out there for years and 
recently after its latest molt, it became quite defensive. So it's always something to keep in mind. So when if you're watching this video and you're a beginner, know that you do not have to handle tarantulas. You can honestly keep tarantulas with never putting your hands anywhere near them, although a lot of folks out there do enjoy that personal contact. For me, I usually try to keep my hands away, but there are ones like these that kind of draw me out, make me break character every once in a while, and I figure I'm, I'm entitled to one or two. So that will do it for this one. If you want to check out the video that featured the rehousing of this one last time, I'm going to put it over there. We'll probably have YouTube pick something that's good for you up there. They do a nice job of it. Also, if you like to subscribe, very much appreciate You click the little circle up there. If you take time to comment, no, I will take the time to respond. It just may take a couple days because I tend to get a lot of comments. That'll do it for this one, guys. As always, stay safe. We'll catch you all next time.